Greetings, folks. Welcome. Economists use regression models to examine the relationship between variables. Here you see a regression model where we're trying to look at the relationship between a person's grade on a test and how much time they spent studying. You have the population regression model, which is sort of our best idea of how we think the world works. And then below it, you see a sample regression model, which is based on some data that we can actually collect and analyze. The scatter plot shows data for a sample of 40 students. You have the test grade, which is the dependent variable, on the y-axis, and the number of hours studied is shown on the x-axis. And because we can show both of these variables on a scatter plot, we know that they're quantitative variables. That's because you can't really show categorical variables on a scatter plot. So this raises the question, can you even use a categorical variable in a regression model? As a specific example, in addition to the amount of time that you spend studying on a test, whether or not the student is an economics major might affect their grade. And whether or not a student is an economics major is a classic example of a categorical variable. Here's a small data set showing information on some people, whether or not they're an economics major. And since being an economics major is a category, you can indicate it by yes or no. So you see that Bob is an economics major, Bobby is not, Roberta is an economics major, Bobby's an economics major, Rob is not an economics major, Robert is not an economics major, and Roberto is an economics major. There are a variety of ways that you can code a categorical variable. So here's just a second table that shows the same information, it's just coded a little different. You see the same people, and instead of seeing yes or no, under major, you see economics or not economics. To incorporate a categorical variable, something like a person's major, into a regression model, we use what's called a dummy variable, also known as an indicator variable. And dummy variables use values of 1 and 0 to indicate if an observation falls in a particular category. When using dummy variables in a regression model, the number of possible categories determine the number of dummy variables that you might have. But when you actually incorporate them into a regression model, you need to have what we call one excluded category. In other words, there's one category that we don't put into the regression model. And since we don't include one of the dummy variables in the model, that means the results for the other dummy variables, those are the ones we put in the model, are interpreted relative to the excluded category. And I'll show you what this means in a second. Now we can go back to our data set that shows the people who are economics majors. And I can show you how we can take those two categories and code them as dummy variables. The second column is whether or not you're an economics major. The third column that I've labeled econ dumb is a dummy variable that tells us if you're an economics major. Remember, a dummy variable uses zeros and ones to tell you if you fall into a category. And the last column is labeled non econ dumb. This could be a dummy variable telling us that you're not an economics major. So the economics dummy variable has a value of 1 for Bob, because Bob is an economics major. The econ dumb variable has a value of 0 for Bobby, because Bobby's not a major. Then Roberta and Bobby have 1s for econ dumb. Rob and Robert have zeros, and Roberto has a 1. The non-econ dumb variable has a value of 0 for Bob, because again, Bob is an economics major. The non-econ dumb, however, has a value of 1 for Bobby, one for Rob, and one for Robert, because those three people are not economics majors. When we go to incorporate whether or not a student is an economics major into the regression model, we have a decision to make. Do we want to use the variable econ dumb or non econ dumb? Because again, you have to have an excluded category. So in this model, we'll include the variable econ dumb. That means the variable non econ dumb is the excluded category. So here we have the model, grade, equals beta naught plus beta one study. Again, that shows the relationship between your grade and how much you study. And then we have this additional dummy variable, econ dumb. And since the variable non-econ dumb is excluded from the model, this means that beta two tells us the effect on a student's grade from being an economics major compared with someone who's not. Because remember, your regression result for the dummy variable is interpreted relative to the excluded category. And since this model also includes a quantitative variable for time spent studying, the parameter beta 2 tells us the effect of being an economics major compared to somebody who's not, also controlling for the amount of time that the student spent studying. Of course, if we wanted to, we could have put the non-econ dummy variable into the regression model. And here's what this would look like. So you have grade equals beta subscript 0 
plus beta subscript 1 study, plus beta subscript 2 non-econ done. So in this model, beta 2 tells us the effect on a student's grade from not being an economics major. Of course, compared with somebody who is an economics major, which is the excluded category, also controlling for the amount of time that the student spent studying for the test. So here you see the two ways that you could incorporate whether or not a student is an economics major into the regression model. The key here is that for that variable, there are really two options. One is you can be a major, or two is you're not an economics major. And because of that, you've got to choose which of those two variables you want to put in the model. You can put econ dumb in the model or non econ dumb in the model as long as you have that one excluded category. And since the first version of the model tells us the effect on your grade from being an economics major compared to somebody who's not, and the second version of the model tells us the effect on your grade from not being an economics major compared to somebody who is, the values for beta subscript two have the exact same magnitudes, they're just a different sign. So let's say that controlling for the amount of studying, economics majors on average score eight points higher, that would make beta subscript 2 in the first model positive 8, again telling us that compared to non-economics majors, econ majors do 8 points higher. That would mean that in the second version of the model, beta subscript 2 would be negative 8 or minus 8, and that's because on average non-economics majors score 8 points lower compared to econ majors controlling for the amount of studying.